Indian Association of Structural Engineers is a national level apex body of structural engineers in India. It was constituted in the year of 2002 with the objective to cater to the overall professional needs of the structural engineers in the country. In view of absence of any credible mechanism of competence-based registration and licensing process of the structural engineers in the country, and also in view of its objectives, IAS Tech is launching a new scheme of certification of structural engineers practitioners as chartered structural engineer. After successfully qualifying a three-stage process consisting of interviews and comprehensive written examination uh, process, they shall be entitled to use the style and title of Chartered Structural Engineer IA Study. It will help the structural engineers to set a benchmark of proven technical and professional excellence and raise the level of structural engineering practice in the country. Uh, well, uh, you see, uh, as a structural engineers, we must be aware of our wider uh, responsibility to the society. We are um, built environment professionals and the public at large uh, relies on our uh, skills for the safety of the built habitat. Uh, we know that India has embarked upon a massive scale of infrastructure development over the last few decades. And if anything, the pace of this development is uh, only set to increase manifold. Uh, uh, in order to keep pace with uh, this development, uh, what we need is the India's, uh, you know, the brightest mind and the most intelligent people in structural engineering. Uh, level of structural engineering uh, needs to be upgraded to uh, very high standard, to international standard. This chartership program uh, initiated by IA Structi will enable the practicing engineers to collect their experience and achievements and it will help them to identify the areas of improvement so that eventually uh, they become a rounded professional with improved career prospects. That's why uh, structural engineers should go for chartership. The process consists of three stages. Stage one would include the application form along with the 13 core objective, initial professional development forms. The candidate has to submit all this to the association. Association will review it and confirm the eligibility of the candidate for the second stage. The second stage would include a professional review interview and uh, in which the candidate has to submit prior to the interview candidate has to submit a portfolio document which will include uh, supporting documents for all the 13 core objectives that the candidate has submitted prior uh, and then the interview will be conducted by peers and passing of interview it's about two hours and passing of interview is, is, is uh, important or critical before the candidate goes to the third uh, stage and third stage will include a uh, written exam it's an open book exam candidate will be provided with a uh, set of questions candidates to consider only one question and you know all the sections of that question uh, it's about seven hours uh, and in addition to that you'll have a 30 minutes lunch break and passing of exam passing of uh, uh, and an interview is mandatory to be considered as the chartered structure engineer ia structure so who can apply for this process of accreditation the basic requirement is you should have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering which is recognized by aict that is all india council for technical education they should have at least five years of a relevant professional experience in the field of a structural engineering. The experience should be such that she or he should be able to demonstrate and convince the reviewer that they meet the basic requirement of a 13 core objectives through the IPD documents they submit. And the most important is the candidate should be willing to develop herself or himself throughout their professional career and committed to the profession.